Hi, I like the fact that the LFP battery in my Tesla Model 3 can be charged to 100%. And that's like adding an extra 60 miles range. As the standard Tesla Model 3 in the UK has the WLTP range of 305 miles. Now, the long range costs £8,000 more. Uh, with a range of 374 miles, but can only be charged to 80%. So that gives it a range less than the standard model. So why pay an extra £8,000 more? Hello, thanks for joining me. Today I'm Nigel. I hope you can take a look at some of my other videos. The thing is, driving a car will never be green, even if it is an electric. Back in the 80s, when petrol companies took the lead out of petrol and painted the pumps green, I thought it was a joke. The lead in petrol caused brain damage in children, so lead-free petrol was better than leaded petrol, but certainly it wasn't green. Uh, walking, cycling is green, but we all need to drive sometimes, some more than others. And I was very guilty back in the past when I was driving as a rep a thousand miles a week, so I should be first against the wall, although I've seen the light recently. Every time I see a vehicle like this, I think, well, it's great on a farm, construction site, but in a European city with limited parking, quite ridiculous. The aerodynamics is ridiculous. The efficiency is really bad. Uh, and it's also dangerous to pedestrians and other road users. But I appreciate in certain places, it's certainly got its uses. So although electric vehicles and LF batteries are not green, they are more environmentally sustainable and don't contain cobalt and nickel, but use materials easier to source and have a longer and wider operating range and are safer and less prone to fires. All EV batteries, LFP or not, they are all recycled despite what some people tell you on social media. The energy density of an LFP battery is lower than that of other battery types. Tesla Model 3 and Y standard range, MG, BYD, some Volvos are using LFP batteries. Ford planned to use the LFP battery in the Mustang Mach-E and the F-150 and more manufacturers are expected soon to go on the LFP route. Because of the lower cost, high safety, low toxicity, long cycle life and other factors, LFP batteries market share for EVs is now 31%. Tesla's built Models 3 and Y use the CATL's LFP batteries, which come from China, which disqualifies them from getting the full $7,500 tax credit, which might stop some buyers buying a Tesla. But Tesla do plan to start building LFP batteries in the US, which would then qualify people buying a Tesla for the full $7,500 grant. Now, GM don't use the LFP battery and it costs them billions uh, recalling Chevy Bolt's EVs and was a PR disaster and very expensive and shut down their factories for months retooling. LFP batteries are a bit heavier, about 15%. Nothing's perfect, but overall they are better than the alternatives. And of course, charging to 100% is a huge advantage with a much bigger range. In the UK, there's no longer any grants on EV cars as our government love oil so much but there is up to 350 pound grant for a home ev charger if a three pin plug is not enough for your needs also landlords and employers can apply for a government grant to install charge points to encourage people to charge at their apartment or at work for those people that can't charge at home if it's stopping them buying an electric ev this could be the solution talk to your landlord or to your employer who can apply for a grant. I would buy my Tesla LFP Model 3 again, but I would consider a cheaper model, maybe a used Model 3 with 40,000 miles on the clock. Some of the earlier models weren't LFP batteries, so I'd have to make sure it was an LFP battery. What do you think? Uh, thanks for getting this far, and please leave your comments below. Hope you can like and subscribe, and please take a look at some of my other videos. Don't forget to take your reusable coffee mug or tea mug, wherever you go. Thanks very much. Take care. See you next time. Bye.